And there they go. Welcome back to RacingNews.com. I'm Magic, and the Pegasus World Cup is coming up shortly, January 29th, at Gulfstream Park. And one of the greatest dirt races of the year on the American racing calendar deserves one of the greatest American racing handicappers. That's why Aaron Halterman is with me <laughs> to talk about the updates about the Pegasus. And, buddy, we just found out from uh, DRF's own Mike Welsh that there's a second invite list for the Pegasus World Cup that's been sent out. Uh, to be in the race, you need to be invited. Obviously, Nick's goal in life is, is good. Continue to point towards the race. They're the two heavy favorites. New shooters invited include Chess Chief, Law Professor, Olympiad, Stiletto Boy, Title Ready, and Fearless. So looking at those six names, anybody stand out to you as someone who you think, well, that's a horse that maybe not going to win, but I really want to play at a price to hit the board? Well, first of all, I thought we had a guest, Magic, when you said that with that opening. I was like, who is, who's the handicapper that we got? That's awesome. No, uh, uh, since it's me, I guess I'll answer. Um, you know, I think Olympiad is a horse that I don't think will be in the race, but one that we need to look at going forward because he ran really well in allowance at Gulfstream last weekend. And I think he's a horse that projects to move up and face stakes company next. Will it be in the Pegasus? I doubt it. You know, out of that list, it, it's just really hard to say, yeah, I do think Chess Chief has a great shot to upset Nick's going life is good. That sentence doesn't make sense, right? So there really isn't a horse, you know, flight lines out. And, and after that, there just isn't a horse that's going to get you excited. Uh, so no, not, I don't really take any names on that list very seriously. Well, let's focus on the two big names then, because Nick's go life is good pointing towards it. They've been pointing towards, it seems like for the second, the breeders cup ended, uh, with that, it's hard to get some horses to show up there because if the trainers believe those are the two best dirt horses in training right now, then you're fighting for third place. Isn't it really worth it there? Let's talk about those two. Life is good specifically had, a, it's like his works get better every single week. We just saw another amazing one uh, over the weekend from him. Is this your top pick right now, early before we get like the posts and the morning lines and all that? It, yeah, it is right now for sure. And what's funny, Magic, is I'm not a guy that can watch a horse run around, you know, in the workouts in the mornings and, and, and take a lot out of it. I'm just not, I didn't grow up around horses you know, how they move and everything like that. I, I can't analyze that for you. The one thing I can say about life is good. And I thought this a little bit watching American Pharaoh Gallup back in 2015. He just looks different. He moves fast, but he moves effortlessly. The, the last video, Jason Blewett uh, posted on Twitter. Make, make sure to check that out. I think I retweeted it as well. You can go to our feed as well to see that. This horse, it's like it's a fog and you can't really see anything. And then here he comes just motoring down the stretch. And it's like, good Lord, that horse looks tremendous. So like I said, I can't sit here and analyze every movement of, of, of workouts for you. Uh, that's just never going to be my strong suit. But I can tell you, he looks different than other horses that you're going to watch in the morning. He looks loaded. He looks ready to go. You know, as we sit here now, what, about 10 days, 12 days out, He's he's got to be my top pick at this moment. Well, 12 days to go to the race, uh, loaded and ready to go, I would say, is about how we feel for the Pegasus World Cup day. Not just for this race, we also have the Pegasus World Cup turf, a grade one race, the Pegasus World Cup Philly Mare turf, a grade three race, uh, debuted for the first time this year. We're going to have full coverage for that at our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash racing dudes, and also at racingdudes.com, where we have the inside track to the Pegasus World Cup wagering guide available coming up shortly. This man right here, Aaron Haltman, works with the other racing dude, Jared Welch break down not only the race by race analysis and tell you every horse their thoughts on them but they also do something called a live banquet article Aaron tell the folks about the live banquet article in case they're not familiar well it's really funny because Jared and I just had a conversation about this so uh, that I'll actually share with you after I explain but the live bankroll article is just race by race exact wagers exact amounts that Jared and I are going to be betting on the seven stakes races uh, on the Pegasus card. So we'll, we'll co obviously cover all three of the Pegasus races and then the undercard stakes races as well and give you detailed analysis of, of what we're going to do and why we're going to do it. We've been very successful with these since we started them back at, at the Breeders' Cup in 2020. Uh, last year at the Pegasus, we made almost uh, $150, made $149 profit uh, with this article. And, you know, uh, it was like a 49% ROI as well. So we usually try to keep the bankroll between three, 400. That's usually where, uh, where we kind of land at. The funny thing is what really saved us last, uh, the last time we did a, a wager, a bankroll wager article for the guide was the Breeders' Cup and Nick's Go saved us. It would have been a, a bad Breeders' Cup, but Nick's Go won at three to one. We suggested you bet a hundred dollars on him to win. He won and we made money. We, we had a profitable Breeders' Cup and we thought, you know, as Jared and I were doing our preliminary kind of talks, and it's like, isn't it funny? We both really like Life is Good, and we're going to go against Nick's Go, even though Nick's Go literally saved our ass last time we did this. So 
we kind of hit the pause button and said, let's rethink this and let's regroup when we finally get these fields and, and, and kind of maybe rethink and go over this race in our heads again. So we put a ton of work into that. Um, it's, it's really what it is. It's hours of discussion and then hours of deciding what bets and what bank, like what portion of what bankroll is going to be used in what race. And then it's 10 seconds to write it and it's up for you guys. So we put a lot of work into the prep and uh, we're doing that right now, 12 days out. Nixco not only saved our asses at the Breeders' Cup, I was one of those people whose butt it still feels a little softer right now because of it, but also yeah. at the Pegasus World Cup last year because he won that race as well. Uh, so make sure you tune into racenews.com because it's going to be a lot of fun as we aim towards it. We also have full Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks coverage, both at racenews.com and at youtube.com slash racing dudes. What do you think about the Pegasus World Cup right now? Do you think life is good? Is your top pick? Are you leaning towards Nick's go in his final career race? Let us know in the comments below. Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your friends. We'll see you at the track. Race and dudes free. Race and dudes free. And there they go.